Happy Friday, my name is Philosophical, coming live from the Indianapolis airport. I've never made a video blog from an airport before, so I felt like doing that. So this little sign here says, surf for free at IND, and that encouraged me to want to ride a little word wave. So I'm just going to get on this moving escalator and ride the word wave, and as I made a video on my recently about the word wave it's really just where you let your your rational mind go to the side and then you let your subconscious mind emerge from the cranial ocean and you just let word waves come in motion so I'm gonna get on this surfboard here this crazy moving sidewalk and just see what emerges from my subconscious mind because I feel like this uh, this moving sidewalk kind of represents the American lifestyle where we're trying to move super fast and we're always impatient and we're like texting on our phones and we're like oh my god this text message didn't go fast enough even though it has to go all the way to outer space and then over to wherever your other person is and then it has to come back simultaneously and it's like moving at the light the speed of light or the light of speed and we're still just so impatient because we're never actually comfortable in the present moment unless we just focus on the now like Eckhart Tolle and I do highly recommend checking out Eckhart Tolle's stuff it's really cool um, and that makes me think about um, how I just love recommending stuff I'm gonna get on the other side of this moving sidewalk now and just go back and forth and I'm still sort of riding the word wave just talking ex extemporaneously semi-spontaneously because everything is crazy to see and they got these midnight flight things I'm just gonna pause they got like cool poetry on the walls here and uh, anywho maybe I'll walk backwards on this moving sidewalk that seems kind of fun <laughs> I think there is a uh, some comedian who said uh, what was it I fell I fell, uh, I fell on an escalator and I fell downstairs for two hours because I was the escalator just kept moving. But anywho, to the thought that I was uh, previously on, I just love recommending stuff and I really just want to be helpful to people. That's like my life goal is to be helpful because I love when other people are helpful because then it just creates this karmic feedback loop where everyone's helping each other out because that's what life's all about. Um, and I'm gonna get again on the, I really like this moving sidewalk thing it's pretty fun isn't this moving sidewalk fun <laughs> you don't have to do any work and you can still move um, so anywho um, talking about being helpful I was just listening to spontaneous evolution on audiobook which is one of my favorite books I highly recommend spontaneous evolution it's by Bruce Lipton Steve Behrman it really just gives a comprehensive view on where our civilization at is at right now and how all these crises are happening but how we could create a positive future um, so I do want to recommend that like scoobly splat still sort of on the word wave but I'm more on the word sidewalk um, anywho um, spontaneous evolution mentioned that the word community comes from two different words calm and munare which means to give amongst each other so a community is really a group of people who gives amongst each other and that is basically the essence of a gift circle which is what I am traveling around I'm about to go out to California facilitate some more gift circles there I'm super excited about that that's where I'm flying out of today <laughs> this is such a ridiculous game I love just uh, <laughs> whenever I feel really silly or like I'm doing something silly I imagine picturing myself from outer space because we're all just in this human race and it's like amazing grace or the amazing race at the same time we're all just on our amazing pace because we're on our moving sidewalks and we could side talks and we could uh, study rocks like geology or we could study biology the study of life but life is everywhere even amongst death because death is just another part of life they're like two sides to the same coin Anywho, I'm just scoobly-doo because I'm just hollow bamboo that the universe jams through. 
All right, let's keep this subconscious mind emerging. Look at that crazy cool sculpture. See, we could read, if we just decided to switch our perceptions and go in a new direction, we could redesign our economy so that more people could put to work doing cool art like that instead of doing other boring jobs that don't really serve anyone. We could have people, we could just completely, if we reallocate our resources, we could totally transform our world. That's one of my favorite concepts, just reallocating energy on a personal level, if you reallocate your energy, like if you normally spend your money on cigarettes, but then you decide to quit smoking, you could put all that money into doing something else, um, like buying kale for kale smoothies, which are super delicious and super nutritious. And <laughs> they have this little, they have this little thing that says the moving walkway is coming to an end. Please watch your step because most people aren't paying attention, they're just text messaging all the time. But I probably do that too, because anytime you judge somebody else, you're actually judging yourself. And when you criticize anybody else, it's probably something that you do, because that's always the case for me. So a good way to figure out where you need to improve yourself is what you judge other people by. That's what I think, and I'm actually recommending that to you, because that's something that I need to do because it's all just a feedback loop and we really want consciousness experiencing itself in different ways like ostriches and everything is bottomless and obsolete. <laughs> and I'm just talking like a crazy person. Another thought that I want to share is uh, if you ever feel stressed out or worried or something like that, just zoom out on the time scale. Just like see yourself from outer space looking down at yourself for me that helps to just eliminate my worries and my hurries or if i think that things aren't happening fast enough like our planet isn't changing fast enough or something i just zoom out or i remember that i am part of evolution i am not separate from evolution so any sense of separation i feel is really just an illusion because i am evolution <laughs> Anywho, the last thought I really want to share is about questions. I think that questions are more important than answers. And uh, all right, I'm not going to judge this person, but that little kid is on a leash. <laughs> that is kind of creepy. We got children on leashes. But that's, a, that's another thing is that we're not separate from the rest of the animal kingdom. So if we put other animals on leashes, we might as well put ourselves on leashes. Anywho, the thing about questions is that um, I'm curious what questions you have for pondering or like any questions you have for me please post your questions. I'd be happy to try and answer them because I just really want to be helpful. Or I'd be happy to try and direct you to some sort of book that may be helpful for that question. Um, and I mean, I've got a bunch of different videos on a bunch of different topics. So if there's some topic you're interested in, maybe I could direct you to a playlist of videos on that topic. So anywho, thanks for watching. Scoobly do. Have a beautiful day. What is the quest I on? What is the quest you on? Keep on asking questions. Don't take yourself too seriously. I'm gonna sit on the side and ride the ride the sidewalk thingy. Now I don't even have to move my feet while I go on this moving sidewalk. Anywho, peace. <laughs>